AI is powerful, but with great power comes great responsibility. AI should be secure, private, and ethical. That's why Salesforce has the Instinct Trust Layer. Salesforce Instinct Trust Layer is designed to ensure AI security, privacy, and reliability while leveraging, leveraging real-time business data. Here's how it safeguards AI interactions. Secure data retrieval, AI can only access authorized data, preventing unauthorized access. Dynamic grounding, before AI process a prompt, it is enriched with relevant CRM data for accurate business-specific responses. Data masking, sensitive data like personal information and financial details is automatically masked before being processed by AI. The prompt defense prevents prompt injections or malicious AI requests that could lead to unintended responses. The zero retention and secured gateway ensures AI providers do not store customer data or use it for model training. The response toxicity detection, the AI output is monitored for harmful or inappropriate content, keeping responses professional. Data masking, after AI generates an output, sensitive data is reinserted securely before final delivery. The feedback framework, the organizations can review, adjust, and improve AI responses based on user feedback. And last, audit trail, logs every AI interaction to ensure transparency, accountability, and compliance. For example, imagine CRS Info Solutions has an AI agent assisting customers with financial services. Without safeguards, it might access confidential account details. But thanks to the Instinct Trust layer, AI is restricted from viewing sensitive data, ensuring compliance and security. All right, now let's go deeper. How does Agent Force actually work behind the scenes? Agent Force operates through five key components. Data, that AI access relevant Salesforce records like cases, accounts, contacts. Reasoning, AI understand what the user wants based on context. Actions, AI takes a specific actions like updating a case, sending an email, Topics, AI groups interactions into structured conversations flows and channels that AI engage users across chat, email, or experience cloud. For example, we have a customer called Diana and she asks, can I check my recent order status? So the agent first steps into action will be um, data, AI fetch the order details from Salesforce records. AI understands the users and wants to track an order. AI retrieves the order status and generates a response. The conversation is categorized as an order inquiry, and the response is delivered via chatbot, email, or phone assistant. So probably the agent force will reply to Diana, your order 123 was shipped on March and is expected to arrive by April. Salesforce launch agent force enabling AI agents to access org metadata and external data via data cloud. This allows trailblazers to be part of the agentic revolution. Agents can be launched from Salesforce, Experience Cloud, external websites, Apex, or Flow. They integrate real-time business data to enhance automations and decisions making. Agent force brings AI-driven automations directly into Salesforce workflows. But why business should adopt AI agents like AgentForce? The benefits are huge. One of their key benefits are reduced support cost because AI handles common customer queries carrying down workload, improved response time, instant AI-generated replies, faster customer satisfaction, increase sales efficiency, 
AI suggests next best actions to sales representatives and enhance user productivity. The AI automates repetitive tasks, freeing up teams. All right, now it's time for some hands-on practice. Let's set up the Agent Force Playground. For this, we are going to the next link, or you can easily scan the QR code. Uh, we are going to sign up for an Agent Force Developer Edition so we can have access to Agent Force and also to Data Cloud. This is a free environment that we can keep. Um, this environment includes 150 LLM outputs per hour, one data space, 10 gigabytes of data, and we can we have to use every 45 days to keep access. So remember that after that time, if you don't access to the org, you will uh, last the access. So please remember always to access your org before this, um, before the 40 days, because then you will lose all your process or all the things that you have done in that developer edition and you will have to sign up again for a new one. 